Victor, welcome to Fractal Paradox. If you're wondering why I look like this and not like this, well, I have a short film to finish and also an entry on the next Punisher 3D community render challenge to make from scratch all at the same time. So I finally decided to accept my fate and evolve into my final form as a generic default cube clone with no personality and a sense of humor that is definitely gonna get me cancelled more times than you can blink in a day. Anyway, you wanna know how to make stuff disappear? You sound like you wanna know how to make stuff disappear. So let's get into this tutorial. I apologize in advance for the screen resolution, it's just my monitor is ancient and 1440p by 900. If you saw the, my last video, which nobody else did, there's, uh, there's this canon and maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this effect on the uh, community render challenge as well. I have a concept that's very cool, you don't wanna miss it, so like and subscribe. Woo, for more content. This is all like controlled by this uh, node group that I made. And the effect is this circle making the cube disappear. And uh, it's gonna be like this disintegration effect. And of course, you can do it with way more than just circles. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're gonna just make a circle. So how do you, how do you start a node like this? You start with a texture coordinate node and you go to object coordinates. Let's create a vector math, set it to multiply, if you duplicate that, and set it to length. The value you, you'll get here, let me just get rid of this and this. Here you go. And then you get like a color ramp so you can see what you're doing. So basically you're getting like a, a mask, like a circle mask in all directions and you can like squeeze it. So that's how you control the size of your uh, sphere. If you animate to zero, it's like an infinitely, like, infinitely big sphere. So you can just keyframe that and then get back here with one and then keyframe that and then right in the middle is where you will get like 0 0.04 or something like that. And here's your like animated mask, right? And then you can obviously keyframe that and expand it. And I don't care. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> so yeah, here's your circle mask, but it's actually not a circle. If you get like a volume shader, uh, like a volume scatter shader, whatever, and plug this into the density, you will have a hole. Oh, and now you can start to see how this uh, hole effect is gonna play out in the future. But basically you can manipulate the shape of the circle through the color ramp or the uh, multiply value. And this uh, circle is gonna be like the base mask that's gonna drive the, the mask between the original shader and the nothing. <laughs> This value can be further multiplied by like a noise texture. So if you had a texture, noise texture, and you plug the color here, the whole circle thing is gonna be like distorted, right? So if you change the scale or the roughness or like the distortion, you get a different effect. And this basically already has like, this, your, your portal is like done. Right? If you just animate this, your portal is gonna like appear. But you wanna you want it to look nice, right? So basically you get the sphere or you can use an animated texture or you can use a generated texture, you can use like you can use like vertex paint or whatever you feel like to be this mask. Basically what I've done is I made this like a basic node group. You can make this a basic node group, call it like portal, portal distorted sphere or something like this. This uh, color output is gonna be what drives the 
masks and stuff it, it it doesn't matter you can you can like customize this to hell and back i don't care so this is your this is your base effect your base mask and then you can use that to drive a shader mix shader as the factor and then you will have your original material on top or actually on the bottom <laughs> and you'll have like a transparent shader on top here so this is the original shader with the transparency and uh, it already looks like a well a smoky cutout gate or whatever so the way you make this look like this instead you turn that simple circle into like a more complex circle is you create a different texture to be like the mask of the mask first of all and that and after that you, you like introduce more shaders so basically this is your this is like your base right you have like this portal like distorted sphere effect it's completely animatable and you can change the kind of noise to get different effects you can use a voronoi you can use whatever so basically you can duplicate that move this out of the way and you have another you can have another mix shader basically this is going to be the surface and also you can use the same transparency transparency oh, transparency shader and use uh where it is principal volume shader since cycles x took care of the volume problem for us you can use the principal volume shader with a few tweaks of course of the mask to be like the interior of the portal just so it doesn't uh, look empty in this like zone for example this and this color is like easy to notice you can just plug in the color and make the density like big way thicker and boom and also you can change it to like red and stuff or any color on, on the known universe <laughs> and yeah and now you got a smoky gate Ooh. Ooh. and basically this is this is it this is the tutorial if if you want to make like a smoky uh, gate disintegration effect yay what you can do to make this like better is what I did here <clears throat> is I made this uh, different like noise patterns to uh, input on the sphere size uh, thing remember that this uh, this noise texture is like driving is driving like the smokiness pattern here so you can further make it like so for the first uh noise pattern i use like a voronoi and uh musgrave texture to have to make this weird uh like kind of magic or blobby thing and for the second uh, disintegration effect, basically I did like a Voronoiception and I used overlay as my medium. So layering cracks. So it's a big crack with a small crack with a small crack. And don't make a butthole joke here. I just did that. Well, so yeah, that's, that's how you make a uh, disintegrating smoky whatever. Why am I being so <laughs> fucking vague it's one because this is a very lazy tutorial <laughs> second because you can download this file for free on the description i just let the node set up and everything i'm gonna just like finalize it make it make a, a bunch of other like noise patterns you're gonna see a montage on like the end of the video and uh it's all gonna be available for free on the description of this video if you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked it, well, I'm sorry YouTube recommended you this. But hey, if you found it if even a little bit, little, little bit entertaining, why don't you uh, share with your friends and uh, uh, comment 
and all the other YouTube stuff. Anyway, there's this short film that I will, don't know if I'll ever finish because it's 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 cool, like it's very cool. There's a lot of stuff, but uh, I I keep adding new stuff and <laughs> and it's it's getting uh, a little bit hard to manage. So um, and there's also the new community render challenge. Whoa! I already have a concept. I'm gonna work on this for like a week. Uh, I will not like use the full time. I'll certainly make a video about it because I did not yet uh, embarrass myself enough on the on on the internet. Why am I rambling? Why am I rambling? If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike it, well, uh, sorry if you watched it until here. This has been a tutorial by Fructo Paradox. Uh, this is a test tutorial. I have no idea how this setup will pay out and like the quality of the video but i hope it was fine yay lazy lazy content for youtube bye bye i will not record this again Close it.